So I know that skiers are getting pretty excited, right? Yeah, I think we're all getting amped up, right? Especially with these new systems headed our way. We had a shot for some snow about a week ago. We saw a little bit of that dusting across those higher elevations. Well, in the near future, even with these systems headed our way, doesn't look like we're going to see anything significant, at least when it comes to those mountain roads or passes. So that's some good news, especially if you're commuting across the area. But as we take a look at the elevations, they don't start to drop until Saturday, but then they kind of lift again. Again, not really significant down to around 4,000 feet until the end of the seven day forecast. So we're talking about the rain for all of us here and fast forwarding by tomorrow morning when we're waking up that rain is going to greet you. So if I were you just keep this in mind, people are going to be taking it slow out there. You might want to just set that alarm an extra 10 minutes earlier just to give yourself a jump start that continues through the late morning, early afternoon hours. Those scattered showers ongoing. A lot of this is going to be light, not ruling out some lower visibilities out on the roadways when you're encountering that and then Wednesday late in the afternoon throughout the evening. That's when we really start to clear up. So when we're waking up Thursday, we get a nice little break in this activity, if you will. So pretty quiet through the majority of the day on Thursday, but Saturday late afternoon, that's when we start to see that rain increasing, especially throughout the evening. And you're going to notice the system slow moving as it tracks out towards the east and it kind of breaks apart. And then we're just going to see these on and off showers throughout Friday morning and then even rolling over into the weekend. Now about 10 minutes ago talked about the wind speeds, so let's get to that. What can we expect with these next couple of systems headed our way right now? Not too bad wind speeds sustained in the single digits right around five to 10 miles per hour for a lot of us across the state. Now as we fast forward tomorrow, so at the surface we are going to have a frontal system approach the area and right before that heads our way, we usually see the wind speeds picking up a little bit. So for the lowlands, we're going to see those winds gusting up to around 25 max 30 miles per hour. However, you will notice high Higher elevations, we're talking about the mountain passes, gusts are going to exceed that to around 30 to 35 for the majority of the area. So that's on Wednesday. And then as we fast forward into Thursday, another system at the surface is approaching the area. So we're going to see those wind speeds picking up at times. So gusty, but overall wind speeds gusting up to around 25 to 30 miles per hour. However, along the coast, it is going to be pretty windy and also across the strait, especially Thursday rolling over into Friday. So just keep this in mind. We'll probably see that gale warning continuing as well right offshore. Now tonight, the temperatures are going to remain mild just because the cloud cover is slowly starting to roll in. So we're talking about temperatures, lower 50s, upper 40s and rain chances like we mentioned are going to continue to ramp up. So that is going to greet a lot of us early tomorrow morning. And as we take a look at that seven day forecast breezy, we've got the rain chances back in the mix. We will see a break Thursday morning and early afternoon and not even rolling out some sun breaks, by the way, for even tomorrow and rolling over into Friday. But overall, the cloud cover pretty thick there, mainly cloudy skies and we're talking about temperatures returning into the 50s by Friday, rolling over in the weekend and then we just have rain chances each and every day and that is a look what we can expect.